Go ahead. All right. Um, so I wanted to go into seventh board today. We're moving a little bit faster than that schedule I had. It was supposed to be non core tones. Non core tones today. I just did that last week. So today we'll do seventh chords. Basically the dominant seventh. Okay. And we'll just move on a little bit faster. Is everything? Everybody okay with the pace? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, there are five different types of seventh chords. Okay. Um, there is. If you take a, a major triad and a major seventh, so from the root to the seventh, the major seventh, we call that a major major seventh chord. Or more often than not, it's just called a major seventh chord. Okay. It's only when you really need to get specific and say, yeah, I'm really talking about this chord, major major, that you need to say that. Otherwise, you can just say major seventh chord. That's a major triad with a major seventh. Then there's the major minor seventh chord, a major triad with a minor seventh. So from the root to the seventh is a minor seventh. And um, in traditional harmony, we often call it a major minor seventh, or the term dominant seventh, which is used a lot in commercial harmony, we also use in traditional harmony. Because that's the chord that you end up with on the dominant scale. So that's why it's called the dominant seventh. Then there's the minor minor seventh chord, which is a minor triad and a minor seventh. So the tri bottom triad, C, E flat, G is a minor triad. C to B flat is a minor seventh. So minor minor seventh, or again, more commonly, just call it a minor seventh chord. And that's true in commercial or tradition. Um, then there's a diminished triad with a minor seventh. Okay, so C, E flat, and G flat is a diminished triad. And then with a minor seventh on top, in traditional harmony, we tend to call that a half diminished. Um, and in, in commercial harmony, they call it a minor seven flat five. So that it's, it's like the minor seven, but the fifth is flat. So minor seven flat five. You'll hear that a lot in, in commercial jazz harmony. But in traditional harmony, we usually just call it the half diminished. Okay, because only half of it is diminished. As opposed to the fully diminished seventh chord where both the triad and the seventh is diminished. So the triad, C, E flat, and G flat, that's a diminished triad. And then C to B double flat, that's a diminished seventh. Right. So that's what we call a fully diminished seventh chord. The triad is diminished, the seventh is diminished. And that, we just call it diminished seventh. So there's, there's five different ones. Now, we're mostly today, or especially today, we're going to be concerned with the dominant seventh, the major minor seventh. And that's the one that is mostly, mostly, mostly used in traditional harmony, this dominant seventh. But, you know, every now, uh, then once we do that one and get that one squared away, then we'll deal with some of the other ones that occur. Okay, so um, in a major key, if I construct seventh chords on every step of the scale, so this you know, every step of the scale, if I construct a seventh chord at every step, I get a major seventh chord, a minor seventh chord, a minor seventh chord, another major seventh chord. Here's the major minor with the dominant seventh. Another minor seventh, and this is a half diminished on the leading note. It's a half diminished seventh. Okay. So the only one that's, that's a dominant seventh is this one. Okay. And that dominant seventh tends to be the strongest seventh chord that we have. The, the other one would be more like a, a fully diminished, just in terms of um, tendencies to go somewhere, to move somewhere. The dominant seventh has a really strong tendency to move towards resolution. So like I said, we're going to deal mostly with the dominant seventh today. Any questions about that? 